Shake your booties for black nerd soul. Lay here at one y'all so hold it down. Bring that street geek and nerd soul, and I'm here blessed with the presence of black girl nerds Marquita Lestar. What's what? up? Thank you. I'm good. I'm good. I'm glad to be here. We are rolling through these episodes. Oh, yes, and we now, are episode six. Yes. yes. Yes, we are. It, it's Ooh, good, y'all. We are binging and we are staying up <laughs> all, all night. night. Like we just we binge fast, and it's good. It's the easiest yes. binge I've ever done in my life. Yeah. So to get right to it, get right to it, because because that was episode was um I got a lot of stuff on my mental though. Let's like, say this, let's say music first. Music because we haven't definitely. talked about the music in a while. Yeah. The music is just man. The score, the the soundtrack. This is just well put together, together. musically. I mean, it's like God, blowing man. your mind on Yo, the soundtrack all the way through. Man. Every episode we've seen, we're like, man, this score, man, this soundtrack. <laughs> You're going to want to cop both when they yeah, drop I, them. When, and, I hope they I, drop like now because yeah, I'll be on Google Play. Exactly, just playing them because they're so good. Yeah. And then... I think my question was to get to like fun stuff because a lot of serious stuff happened in yes. this particular episode. Um, Scarf is revealed for the dirty rat that we all yes. know he is, mm -hmm. and the house just comes tumbling down. Everybody's <laughs> getting locked up. Yep, yep. Everybody's ducking, trying to get duck a rat. Like, exactly, and they will <laughs> not let you out. And, and, and you know, people's rep. You know, because this was all about people's reps and like. All the crazy shit you do to maintain your rep, yep, yep. and all that shit just came. You know, pride Man. got in front of a Kadima. lot of a lot of Kadima. pride. Come out, fucked up his own. Oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Let me back that up. Good. Messed up, <laughs> yeah. Messed up his own kind of like his uh, rep because he, he is very foreshadowing in the beginning. Yeah, and where he he's couldn't like, let it go. He couldn't let anything go. He's like, and it's funny because he got the same advice about this whole like benign neglect kind of letting things mm -hmm. go trying to shift and yep. recruit that money about three different times and he shot the first dude that told him this advice so yes. that was the crazy thing but there are three distinct times he was told pretty much the same information and he kind of was bent on I have a rep to maintain yeah. and kind of did and some self-fulfilling prophecy of shooting himself in his own foot by yes. shooting Scarf so yes, that that's that's what <laughs> sent him down. Sent him down, just and holding on. You got this storyline with Scarf, uh, and you find out that Scarf has the evidence that he needs to put everybody away that's been paying him off. Right, he and kept really good. Notes. We also find out because you were talking about why is Misty Knight not figuring out that Scarf right, is good? Right, exactly. And it we finally so find obvious. out. Uh, that you know, mm -hmm. Scarf was the first guy that like gave her a chance, right. believed in her, believed you know, in really, new to really the stuck up for. Her. And because so that's her blind those, spot. Those gender uh, politics going on. Yeah. Your woman new on the force, and everybody gives her a hard time. Yeah, and he's the first one to wrap his arms around her. Be go, like, hey, you kid, can do this. you're all right. You've got it. I've got you. And that <laughs> blinds her. The same behavior, the almost exact same yep. behavior in another police it officer. It took her like one day to figure it out. Figure right? it out. <laughs> like it was instant. Because you know Misty Knight don't take no shit. And you know we all about our Misty Knight because yes. it's all about Misty, Mi Knight. Misty so lit, right? Hashtag Man. that all day, every day. Yes. So we was all kind of after a while, you know, we in, we, we in episode six and we like, girl, do you Come get, what? come get your partner. Like, yeah, what, what's what going on? <laughs> Why aren't you seeing this? And we find <laughs> out that, you know, he's been like a mentor to her and mm -hmm. her loyalty was getting in the way. But she was able to smell that on the same, another person, the same activities like so that. So quick. So she's back in the game. She's yes. going to revenge her partner. I still got I'm a little bit in my feelings about her still like, I'm going to revenge you, Scarf. Like, nah, dude. He's like, no, he was dirty. <laughs> he was dirty. He got what he deserved. And that's the only reason he knows all this who other knows, stuff. Who knows right. how many other people he killed or had killed <laughs> or, or put in a position to right. be killed by Cottonmouth. But... You also get the downfall, well, sort of downfall, of Councilwoman, uh, can't remember her last name. Well, we're going to Councilwoman to Cottonmouth. <laughs> yeah. But. <laughs> I mean, like, is, this, is it Marsha or Martha? I know she's, I know she's Black Mary or Black Mariah. Okay, we're going to call yeah. her Black Mariah. Black Mariah. Because I know they call her Madame 
I think, Councilwoman. That they literally call her Madame Councilwoman. I only think they use her last name. Yeah, we could yeah. be like just glossing over because while she is being played excellent by the actress, she does come in to kind of just kind of patch things together, yeah. make this connect. Um, she's not she excellent acting, important role, but just not a very large one. So, yeah. so, so sometimes but we might get a little pivotal in these next couple right, of episodes because now Cottonmouth mm-hmm, isn't here and Cotton so Mouth in jail and she's so. she's on she's on the rebound to repair her rep because that's yeah. all she's got because she got sidelined by a journalist and oh that was, was gritty that was nasty good. oh it's she so was like, much this interview is <laughs> over <laughs> this over and before they got there it was so much shade and you know your girl Marquita <laughs> You know, AKA Black Girl Geeks, you know, I curate that account for Black Girl Nerds, right? You know how I love my tea. You know how I love my shade. And you know I can be savage and have no shield. And I was mm. I was appreciating it. Oh, man. <laughs> I was living for the shade that they were throwing at each other in mere looks. Ooh, simply yes. expression. You know how we do black ladies. Oh man. So, <laughs> so it was great. You guys, man, we enjoyed this episode. Get down in the comments. Tell us what you thought about the dirty cop or the dirty cops. And also in New comment- Yorkers. Yeah. Let us know what the what's up with coffee. Yeah, I get the hashtag. Coffee. I don't drink coffee, but we had coffee, but we didn't have coffee. Mm-hmm. I need to know Harlem people, New Yorkers. Yeah, let me know. Holla at me, even in the comments. Get at me over at Black Girl Geeks. Mm-hmm. Our La Star got next on Twitter. <laughs> let me know what's up to that because that's all through that. It's, it's a little dirty with the, with the <laughs> dirty cop. I got. I'm going to New York for New York Comic Con next week, and I need to know mm-hmm. if I'm asking for coffee. If I'm if I'm inviting if you're some a little too much. <laughs> too much right? So you guys jump down in the comments, holler at us, let us know what you feel like below, and don't forget BlackGirlNerds.com or thatnerdsoul.com. And also, do not ever, ever forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and Most share this with your friends. Bring your friends. Yes. All right. So we this. out. Peace. All right. <laughs>